This is Vauxhall, a British brand that prides itself as a front-runner in British engineering and ingenuity. Since Vauxhall found its home in Luton way back in 1905, it has been a major player in the town. So much so that they used to say, if Vauxhall sneezes, Luton catches a cold. And now, in 2019, Vauxhall keeps coming up with new, game-changing technology wrapped up in vehicle bodies that the British buyers are so familiar with. I'm here today to dig a little deeper into how they support British business with the creation of one of the nation's favourite vans. I'm on the GA line, which is the General Assembly line. This is the end of the line. This is but the this is the, the beginning, line. Line, right? Is, oh, the beginning of the experience of the customers, yeah. <laughs> this is Mike Wright. Mike Wright is the plant manager here. So, Mike, your job is to make sure that this line is running, flowing beautifully and fast Absolutely. That's, with that's, the new van. That's the intention with a brand new Vauxhall Vivaro. It's built here in Luton, absolutely. So what, 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 what does it take to, to start a new production? It takes a huge amount of effort from a lot of people, from the design and the planning stages, all the way up to the, uh, the execution phase. And at the moment, we're just in the phase where we start to um, introduce the new facilities into the organisation yep. to enable us to retool to build this, this actual van. Because this is unusually quiet for a production line, yeah. isn't it? It's never ever like this normally. This you can is very, very unusual. <laughs> yeah, very, very unusual. So how important is this, is the new van then? I mean... This van is extremely important. I mean, this van is basically securing 1,200 jobs in the Luton area. Um, right. it's going to, we're going to employ more people on the third shift very, very soon. And uh, for the people, for the local, the local people, it's extremely important. Yep. We're building 100,000 vehicles, which is more than we've ever built before in this particular, particular facility. And Vauxhall is the largest UK commercial van facility. 100,000? 100,000, 100, yes. So, Mike, in terms of like, mm. investment for the country and in terms of investment for this area, because a lot of manufacturers seems to be going into different countries you know, over the years, this is completely different. This bucks that trend totally. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in a time when people are um, moving out of the UK, yeah. PSS and Vauxhall are moving into the UK. So basically, the investment we've got is about 100 million euros for this product. And that is the sustainability that we need for our future. This takes us with this product well into the next decade in terms of our manufacturing capabilities. It's hugely important for, for the plant, for the people, and also for Vauxhall. Wow. That's great. Now, I know you're very busy because you've got to get the production we, sorted yes. for this and it has to be right. Yeah, absolutely. So right. thanks very much. Okay. I'm Thank going you. to meet someone who's going to benefit directly from that investment. Yeah. Callum over here. Okay. All, right? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Callum. Hi. Good to meet you. Now, you. how long have you been working at Vauxhall? I've been working here since November 2014. So four years. This is my fifth year. And, and have you had the same job the whole time or has it no. changed? I started as a General Assembly operator, yeah. and then I worked my way up to a production team lead leader, and now I work for the pilot team. The pilot team? The pilot team. We have to standardise each station, Yeah. so every operator knows exactly what they're doing to build the K0. What's it like to have a lot of investment put into a production plant like this? I mean, this has been here for, you know, a hundred years, more. A long time. It secures our future, Yeah. working yeah. here. Also, it creates uh, job opportunities for the town um, and like you said it's been here for a long time this place means a lot to everybody in this town listen you've got a key in your hand I presume is it for that or yes, that it's for this Varro here because I've got to I've got to go a long way over there and these steel toed shoes are not the most comfortable here you go so can I borrow it go for it have a drive thank you by the way thank you thanks a lot So I appear to have acquired myself a van, a box fresh van as well. I'm now going to have an explore around this huge site to see what's kept the place ticking over for all of these years. Okay, so we are approaching the body shop, the newly fitted, soon to be very busy state of the art body shop. Let's go and have a look in here. This is the body shop manager Mark Lovell. Mark. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to and meet you. you. So you. you're in charge of this brand new operation. <laughs> I am. That we're standing in the middle of. Absolutely, I am. Um, I've been the manager of the body shop for six years now. Okay. Um, See, so this is my second new model that I've seen in. Is it? New vehicle, absolutely. Yes, it is. Is this the most exciting bit when you have an all new model? Because you've got to sort of clean the floor and clean the decks and start all over. It is. It's the most difficult bit yeah. by far. Yeah. Um, but it is the most exciting bit. Um, new technologies, new equipment, 
Um, yeah, it's a, and it's a fantastic opportunity to change, to modernise, yeah. which is what we've done with this particular vehicle. Uh, we started putting this in uh, last summer. Okay. Um, now that may seem a long time ago, but it's still a very quick time frame to install a brand new vehicle into what was a car park. Is that what this was? This was a car park. We've turned it from a car park into an underbody, underbody process. What's the most satisfying part of your job then? You see the equipment running for the first time? Yeah. That is very satisfying. Everyone working that equipment yeah. and, and happy to work that equipment. Um, that's satisfying. The design is to build 21 jobs an hour when we see that for the first time. 21? 21. 21 jobs per hour. Okay. okay. Every hour. Okay. On three shifts. You know, you're looking at schedules of around about 100,000 units per year. Everything in this particular part of the process, um, the underbody process, is all load stations. Um, this will operate with 13 team members. The old underbody process for K0 operated with 38 team members. Yep. Because this is automated, better automation, better processes, yep. more complex, but less headcount. It's going to be a lot more vans in the world, thanks to you. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much for your no time. No problem. Thank right. you. Cheers. This is Alice. Hi, Alice. Hi, Johnny. Pleased to meet you. And you. How long have you worked at Vauxhall? I've worked at Vauxhall uh, 29 years this year. 29 yeah, years? Yeah, 29 years. And, and what's the general sort of vibe around Vauxhall with the, the news that, you know, they've obviously invested in a, in a yeah. new line? Yeah, it's be... been a big relief for people. Do you think? Yeah, absolutely. For Vauxhall, I mean, this space is just... It's like never ending. It's it's amazing how it keeps going. Well, every time I see a freshly painted Vivara, I will think of you now. <laughs> yes. <All right. laughs> From now no on for the next that. couple of years. <laughs> yeah. It's really good to meet you. And you. Thank and you. you very much. And you. Well, that was a real eye opener. Knowing that 18 months ago or less, that was a car park. It's also great to see, you know, that this place, this complex that I'm driving around now, has been making commercial voxels for for nearly. A century. We've heard from staff where many of their families have worked to this plant, so it's clear that training future generations is vital to understand the new technologies required to make plants like these efficient and sustainable. Which is why I'm really pleased to hear that Vauxhall is keen to encourage apprenticeships. We're back on the general assembly line here and my journey with the Vivaro is just about coming to an end now, but not before I've spoken to this man, Jake. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yourself? So you obviously work in the plant here. How long have you been at Vauxhall? Oh, I've been at Vauxhall for three and a half years now. I'm okay. actually a maintenance engineer um, apprentice. So a I've maintenance got, I've got engineer half apprentice? Half a year left, pretty much. But for two years I've been moving around all the areas, seeing all the different production that's going on. And then for the last year I've been in the body shop. So came into here with basic knowledge, really. I'm into cars and that and tinkered around with them. But, but not a big engineering background no, no, of no, any no. sort? No. Nothing like that. At and all. now you've got quite a lot yeah, of Yeah, I know a lot of stuff really. So thanks wow. to this place. Because on the one hand some people would say that machines are taking away human jobs, but actually it's not the case with you. Not it's with human, me. But humans still need to Yeah, we still need to look after all the equipment and the yeah. robots and whatnot. But in a way it is kind of taken over, but in a positive way. Yeah. Well look. It's been very enlightening. I have to say I've learned a lot. I don't get to come into factories very often, so thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. I'm going to just have a little walk outside and reminisce for a while. So there we have it. Vauxhall's Luton plant built its first commercial vehicle 90 years ago, and it's testament to the confidence shown in the factory that it will continue to prosper thanks to the new investment. The new Vivaro is a fantastic new addition to the Stella Vauxhall lineup, one that drivers will feel proud to spend their days in, and one that Britain can be proud of for years to come.